I, I really shouldn't be surprised by this anymore at this point, but... God damn! Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and in this video we're going to be talking about Maximum Crisis and the rarities of the true Dracos, which is basically the chase archetype of the set. Basically, the chase deck coming out of this set that everybody is ready and prepared for and wants to basically have in the game being the true king, true Draco support that's coming out in Maximum Crisis. Now, Konami has uh, has put on their blog, which I'll have links to the articles in the description of this video, uh, they've put the series of blog posts out that they've got here <laughs> that show uh, some, uh, some high quality renderings, some high quality scans of these cards, and basically revealing what rarity they are. And, uh, if any of you, uh, were hoping that this archetype was gonna be cheap because of the fact that VFD got bumped from a secret down to a super, <laughs> if it was a secret in the OCG, it got taken down to a super in the TCG, for those of you that were hopeful about that, if you wanted to play, like, True King Dinos or anything, and you wanted to get your Dragonic Diagrams for cheap or whatever, <laughs> that shit's gone. That, that hope is out the window. Alright. So what we have here is we have this picture of Dragonic Diagram here, and it's very obviously secret rare. That's the secret rare font that they use for their uh, for their stuff. If it was going to be a rare, it would be more white, and it'd be a bit thicker. So Dragonic Diagram is a secret. Uh, this uh, Darius a third or whatever its name is, the kind of irrelevant one, the one that no one really plays in any of the builds. Uh, it's an ultra, so that's kind of not really that real. Uh, and Miramune. Looks like it is an ultra as well, so it matches the rarities of Agnamaz and Bosteros, whereas Lithizasm is still just a random Earth True King that's uh, that's super rare. Don't quite get that. I feel like somebody missed the memo at, uh, at Konami's uh, little uh, department. But so True King of All Calamities, aka VFD, it has been bumped down to a super. Uh, we had confirmation of that from when those cards got released in the uh, OTS packs instead of. Uh, the supers from that set, that printing error. Masterpiece, that's a secret rare. So have fun with that if you're playing the Demise build, or if you're playing just any sort of deck that plays Masterpiece and Dragon Diagram in it. You've got two secret rares you have to go after that are going to be chase cards of the set. Uh, it looks like this guy, this irrelevant kind of towers guy, I don't even remember what its effect is. I think it's like when it dies, it summons one like extra deck monster of like almost any attribute. It's like Earth, Wind, Fire, or Water out of your extra deck. Um, and then it's like also a towers, but you have to tribute three for it. But so it's a true towers if you tribute monster spell or trap for it. Still, it's not really worth. Masterpiece is just a better card. Uh, but so we have masterpiece as a secret. We got dragonic diagram as a secret, and uh, and so <laughs> two chase cards straight out of the gate are secret rare for your deck. Uh, at least you can get away with uh, you can get away with the ultra mirror moon if you even play that, uh, and then the super VFD. And then we go over here to the other article which has more of the rarities basically confirmed because we've got essentially it's the theme which I'm actually kind of thankful that Konami is doing this matching rarity nonsense for these dudes because Darius the third or whatever the Earth Monarch one was an ultra by its text that you could see and so we have Ignis Heat, Dynamite Knuckle and uh, Majesty uh, Maiden these are all ultras as well so all of the tribute monsters that are the small tribute monsters, the monarchs as I'll refer to them as uh, of this deck, the true Draco monarch type cards. They are all ultra rares, so that's that's a cool bit of a, a cool bit of matching because then they all are the same rarity, but they're still all ultra rares, which means that they're going to be you know like wind witch capabilities of getting them, like where you need multiples of them and they have to be played in a set, and that's going to be you know the issue if you're trying to play this deck. You're going to have to get a bunch of ultras. And I think there's only like two ultras per box or something like that. I think it's like one secret per box, two ultras per box for or something like that. Might be three ultras. I don't know, but it's still really low amount considering that basically this entire deck has been rarity bumped and is hollowed out, which means it'll look pretty, but it also means it's going to be kind of hard for accessibility. But as we go down here, True Draco Heritage, aka Succession, obviously an ultra rare. True King's Return, which is Revival of the True Kings, obviously an ultra. And it looks like True Draco Apocalypse uh, is either a common or a super and I believe Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, that is very obviously a common, because I don't think I ever saw a picture of Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix being pulled out of those uh, OTS packs that had the, the supers in them that weren't supposed to be there. Either that or it was just never in those packs. Uh, but so Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix and Apocalypse 
are either commons or supers. I think Apocalypse might be a super. Can't remember if it was in those OTS packs or not, but still, regardless, there's literally two commons in your entire deck. If you're trying to play the Demise True Draco deck, if you're trying to play Masterpiece Turbo, which is the same deck, or if you're trying to play like any True King variant using Dragonic Diagrams, Masterpieces, any of the True King stuff, um, like there's two available commons to you out of the entirety of the archetype. Uh, and those are Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix and True Draco Apocalypse. I, even if they're supers, they're essentially commons, because there's a super in every pack. So you've got VFD, you've got Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, you've got True Draco Apocalypse. Those are the three low rarity cards that you have access to. Everything else is ultra or secret. Konami, you be going for that money. Uh, I don't know how I'm not surprised. I don't know how I'm surprised by this. I don't know why I'm sitting here going, yeah, yeah, this is just crazy. I don't know why I'm sitting here doing that. Because it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. For them to just do this sort of rarity bump. It makes me absolutely infuriated. The only reason I'm going to be able to play this deck is because I have a sponsor and because I've been very blessed with the amount of like earnings and stuff and stuff that I've been able to do with this channel. That's the only reason I'm going to be able to play this deck at full capacity in a quick ability. That's the only reason. And I have no idea how other people that are, don't have that much disposable income to put into their hobbies are going to be like affected by this because they're not going to be able to get this entire deck of hollows. But anyway, ugh, ugh, God damn, fucking hell, fuck Konami. All right, well anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on these rarity bumps in the comments down below. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of people saying fuck. I mean, I'm kind of pleased about it because I know I can get the deck, but that's just because... I have a lot of capability of being, because I, I told, like I already said, I'm blessed to be able to throw money at my hobby. Uh, but people that are not that fortunate sucks. It sucks that you don't, you're not like, like you're, you're caught out of the thing that you love doing by a paywall. <laughs> that's that's irritating. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. But other than that, links as always in the description of my Facebook and Patreon pages if you want to get into a monthly giveaway at the end of this month for a box of Maximum Crisis to try and pull some of these fucking cards, then go check out the Patreon page that is linked in the description. It also possibly gets you access into my Discord server, depending on which reward tier you pick. If you want to talk with me on an unlimited basis, then that is one of your best ways to get in touch with me. But but other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards, then check out the link in the description to Second Chance Gaming's website. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. I'm a big fan of how they do business. Their pricing and shipping with what I've had to deal with are both top notch with with what I've experienced. So definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you. But other than that, again, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Fucking hell. Why do rarity bumps have to be in Konami America's like like business model? Why? I don't understand. It just pisses me off that people that love playing this game and don't have enough money to be able to throw money or whatever they want to do with this hobby, they're caught behind a paywall, as I've already said. But that's just my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Fucking ridiculous.